How safe is your child when they get on the school bus each morning? Tonight, there's a new push to investigate school bus safety across New York. This after one parent claimed their child was sexually assaulted on a school bus right here in Buffalo. And that is the second sexual assault allegation made by a parent this school year. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ali Tui tells us how some leaders want to further protect your children. It is petrifying to me to think that this sort of thing can happen. State Senator Tim Kennedy says he was appalled when he heard the claim that a six year old boy with special needs was sexually assaulted by a 12 year old on a Buffalo City school bus in December. That's why he's calling on the State Department of Education to investigate bus operations here in Buffalo and statewide. We want to ensure that our children's safety is a top priority, whether they're in school or whether they're being transported on school buses. The most recent allegation is the second of its kind this school year. In both cases, neither bus had an aide on board to monitor student behavior. According to district officials, only two thirds of Buffalo City school buses have aides. Kennedy thinks an investigation would only strengthen the argument to put aides on all buses. The idea isn't a new one. The Buffalo Common Council passed a resolution in November urging the district to put an aide on every bus. According to Councilman Chris Scanlon, and it never heard back. So he's pleased to hear Kennedy is taking this case to the state. I think it's irresponsible to ask someone who's charged with driving a bus, get, getting kids to and from safely to school, to also monitor the kids when there's 20, 30, 40, 50 kids riding this bus. Putting an aid on every bus wouldn't come cheap. Scanlon says early estimates show it would cost $5 million to implement. Kennedy believes the state could foot the bill. There's no question in my mind that an appropriate level of funding can be utilized to ensure that those school bus aides are available and are able to be present on school buses. Now both assault cases are being investigated. So far, no charges have been filed. Allie Tui, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank